What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all, and we got another new favorite song, and we got his all for one song, Crowned, featuring John O, My Hero Academia. Now, you already know, this is continuing the series of him, because because this was a new series he can he did and such if you haven't go check out the part one which was the shigaraki rap mind you with him featuring nem raps and hey i've said it before when fable goes into that rapping lane he's a dip he it adds on a little bit more spiciness to fable because not a lot of times fable can just straight up go ballistic with the rapping because mind you he can still he can rap too he just don't do it as much but trust me when fable turns into that rapping lane he's a different person believe me if you if you think i'm wrong all i can say is go watch it go listen to his bakugo rap rebel and trust me that shows you that when fable goes into that rapping lane he talks very spicy or just any song that he involves him rapping he goes crazy on it but either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get into this i wonder which one we get rapping fable or rock fable because you're judging how it's saying song And it's so crazy that I reacted to DPS's awful one and he was just straight up rapping on that one. So what did you get from Fable? Oh, nope, we get rock Fable. We get rock Fable. And it's John on it. off the tops as you already saw by this intro yeah we got rock fable on this one and then Jono with the chorus you already know Jono is always gonna kin kill it with the chorus I was gonna say last time we saw these two collab with one another was on their on the Goku song save the world yeah they went crazy on that one so it, it would be expected of them to collab again cuz I was thinking did they collab before until I remember it was the Save the World one, so yeah. Glyphics, you couldn't read the misfit. Mm. Saying like nigga. Basically saying y'all couldn't read me. Cause with all for one, like he says, he's always two steps ahead of y'all. There <laughs> were ten steps ahead of y'all. Cause mind you, when this man was like captured in that prison they had and such in my hero academia, 
this man knew where everything was going to ha happen every single time. Like, nigga, if that ain't such an evil mind type of guy right there where he knows everything was going to happen, <laughs> even when he's in prison, that's crazy. Oh, I thought he said shit up, but he said shift up, but because I he did say before he's now he's not gonna be cursing in his songs because the last song he cursed in and such from this year was the Alistair one and from Alone at Night, which was the Sun Jin Wu rap to this one, he ain't cursed since. But hey, it doesn't stop that they still don't go crazy. That's why I say for me, I don't care if even if you are not cursing or if you are cursing at the end of the day, hey, as long as the lyrics are still fire and the music still fire, I could care less if you curse or not. But yeah. Gotta be this good to stay. That's a crazy thing. Hold on. <laughs> mid, I like how it said mid, good. What was it? How it said? Hold on. What it said? I'm guessing it said trash there, then mid, then good, and then awful one. And say so you gotta be this good to stay. I mean, hey. If you're in, if you're on his type of level with this shit, if you ain't that good, stay your ass where you at. Surprised it was the same rap song. It's better if it is mixed on this voiceover. I swear to God, hold up. This nigga mix right here, nigga. Wasn't you just on DPS's awful one rap doing a voiceover? First it was on DPS. Is now Fable? Who's next? Game Boy. Well, has Game Boy make an awful one yet? Maybe he's not, but if if I if I see mix on, and my and plus wasn't he on DPS's other like song that he did a voiceover on? Damn mix! <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did another voiceover. Which one was it? I can't remember. But damn, I'm probably was it? I know it was this year. I don't know, but regardless, damn mix. <laughs> Another voiceover. <laughs> it's epic, I can't stand for. When heroes tremble at my name and villains weep at my feet, you will understand that I am not merely a man. I am fate Not this nigga growling now, nah. <laughs> he said he ain't picking no sides, I ain't diplomatic and shit. 
in the world of this politics now, I don't expect me to pick no sides. I ain't Republic. I ain't Democratic. I'm just on the sidelines, just looking through. Because does it matter? <laughs> me personally, I don't even believe in all this political bull crap. So, hey, to each his own, I guess. If you want to go vote, if you're Republican, go vote. If you're Democrat, go vote. Me? You think I care? Because at the end of the day, certain shit ain't going to change just because one person's in office or so. It really not. So, it is what it is. Let me do a real curvy real quick. Hold on. <laughs> just. Nigga. Just. What did Aaron do on that rusted cipher? Or song? Nigga. <laughs> like. y'all when it comes to a fable reaction I do nine times out of ten for any type of music reactions I'll come in here to try to catch some bars and so and so right but I'm straight up being honest with y'all when it comes to a fable reaction do I come in here honestly cuz I know he's saying some shit he's got some bars in in here and such right but I just come for the performance, cause knowing how Fable is always gonna bring that performance level out of you. I'm expecting nothing but the craziness. Like he said before, when it comes to his songs, it's like a roller coaster of emotions. You don't know when he's gonna stop or keep on going. So that's why I always come in here for it. Jono, that better head be you in the background with those screaming. <laughs> Goddamn. That had to be Jono, that had to be you in the background singing like crazy. Hold up. Hold the hell up, my nigga. <laughs> it's a good thing I already left a like on this video. Hold the hell up, Jono. Who told you you could scream like that at me? Hmm. Who told you, sir, you can scream at me like that? Because I know I didn't tell you that. Nobody else told you. No, I'm just She ain't scream. No diddy, but scream at me all you want. <laughs> but nah. Shout out to Fable. Shout out to John Olin and such. Because, hey, this was definitely rock Fable. And trust me. One thing's for sure and two things for certain. When it comes to Fable... He's literally like he always like he said before in the past. Whenever it comes to his music, it's like a roller coaster where you don't know when it's gonna stop or start or 
when it's gonna automatically start or when it stops or whatever. Point is, you're gonna go up, down, all the way around with his types of songs. And one thing's for sure, you will never feel like it's boring or so. <laughs> That's for shit sure. Cause nowadays with certain songs, it's always like, or freestyles for that matter, it's always like at least two minutes or so. Or yeah, let me give it a little, let me be generous, at least three minutes or so. And that's how much people can take up to a music. But most, most, but certain, certain artists and such, they can find a way how to make that song be more entertaining for at least four or five minutes and such. And with Fable, in the nerdcore community and others too, but mostly with Fable, when it comes to like that energy type vibe, yeah, Fable can always keep it up and divide too. But hey, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.